So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a live stream event in your Facebook group using Zoom. So you're going to click events and create event. You will give your event a name and select the date and the time that you want to stream the event into your group. And I'm going to set this up as if I'm going live basically now. Now this is where it gets important. You want to make sure you choose virtual and here's the mistake that people make is they choose this external link because they're going to do zoom, but you really need to choose Facebook live. The mistake people make is to click the external link and then put the zoom link in there. And that is how we used to do that. You used to be able to put the zoom link in there. And that's what kind of intuitively makes sense. Right. But in this case, no, do not choose external link. Um, you need to make sure that you choose Facebook live. This is the only way that we can set up the custom RMTP protocol or RTMP protocol so that you can uh, connect zoom to your Facebook. So again, do not put the zoom link in there. All right, so we got that. Choose external, choose a Facebook link, and then you can invite all your group members. Um, you can add more details in here, and I think this would be a good place to go ahead and insert your Zoom link because you're going to add details in there. You can also add co-hosts in here. You can have the chat set up. Um, I'm not sure, honestly, how well this gets streamed in. So this would be an experiment. I would have a backup where I had another device, my phone or something like that, where I could actually see the chat. So I'm not sure if this is going to show up in the producer section, uh, but in any case, we'll go ahead and get it set up and just double check everything. And maybe I want to, um, I'm going to change this photo only so I don't mix it up with the current photo that I have with my group, get it adjusted so that you're happy with it. And then you can go ahead and create the event. Now it takes a moment for the event to actually get created. So I'm going to sit here and let this spin so you can get an idea that it's not instantaneous. Nothing is wrong. And if you're on wireless or a slower uh, internet, then it might take even longer. I have a pretty fast internet and still it took, you know, 20 seconds. Um, you've already, I've already invited all the people in my group, so I'm not going to explore any of these other options. You can just close that. And there we go. Here is our super secret event that we're going to be live streaming into. So what's our next step? We need to set up the live video. So this is where we connect in this case, zoom to our, uh, live streaming into Facebook. So we're not going to use the webcam because the webcam would just allow us to share our face or our screen, one or the other, not both. We want to share our whole Zoom thing. So we want to connect the video source to our streaming software. Now, it is important that you fill in the post details. I don't know why they have these post details again when we already put the information in Zoom. So I'm just going to put something in here. Please make sure you do this too, because it is one of the steps. And especially when we're doing this the first time, we just want to make sure we follow every step. And yes, I should have copied the information from my event and had it in a little notepad so that I could copy and paste it right in here right now. So we'll see where this ends up. All right. So we've got streaming software. Next, we need to get our keys in order to connect them to Zoom. So I'm going to go ahead and log into Zoom. I'm in my Zoom account. Now let's just, rather than starting a regular meeting that I have, let's go ahead and create a new meeting. We'll schedule a new meeting that's just for this event. I like setting up my meetings without a date and a time. So I just do recurring meetings. To me, that's the easiest thing to do. So I select recurring and then instead of daily, weekly, or monthly, I do no fixed time and it gets rid of all that other information and all this other stuff looks good to me. Everything looks good. So I'm just going to save this.
and I'm going to check live streaming and then configure custom stream service. Now it'll take you to this page where you have to put in the streaming service and the keys and the URLs. It'll automatically populate with your username and password. You do need to delete those things out of there. Uh, they have nothing to do with what we're setting up right now. And your group URL may look like mine with a bunch of numbers. So this is the Facebook group where I'm doing the live stream into. It's just a general group. It's not the post or the event. It's just the group URL. And yours may have a bunch of numbers or it may um, have, you know, the actual title of your group. So now I'm into the stream keys and the URL, and I'm going to make sure the persistent stream key is uh, toggled on. And then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to put that URL into the URL field. Okay, there's a, there's a URL field and a key field. So I'm putting it in the URL field, field and now I'm coming back and I'm getting the key. Now, could you have done this in the opposite order? Yes, it doesn't matter which order. Stream key, it just has to go in the key field. Do not click the buttons down below. Don't click those boxes. You're not authentication, authenticating the broadcast. You don't have to worry about that. So now we are pretty much ready. We are ready to... You can double check, you've got the right URL. You've got your stream key and you have your group URL. Don't worry about those two little X's there. So now click on details and we're ready to start. So if we had to leave this page and come back, we would just come back and hit edit and then start. Edit, save, and then um, the details and then start. So now I can open up my Zoom Let's get this lined up in here. I can stop this recording from Zoom. You can record through Zoom as well as Facebook. And here I am. Yeah, I'm right here. Got it. Okay. I'm going to just uh, close my video here. And now I'm going to click the three dots and go live on custom live streaming service. So that's the one you want to select live on custom live streaming service. Zoom is now connecting to Facebook using that key and the art um, TMP protocol. And now it should tell us that we are live now. It, it threw us straight into the Facebook group, but not on the right page. This is not the page where we need to be for the streaming. It shows our event, but it just takes us into our group, you know, into the main URL. We need to get back to our studio, to our producer studio here. So here we are. Now look what's happened. Now the um, thing is checked where it says connect a live video source. So that's good. And we have the button at the bottom now that says go live now. It is a clickable button, whereas before it was not clickable. So this is all good news. Looks like we're all set to go. So let's go live now. Boom, now it put us into our group. I'm gonna refresh this page and see if the video is showing up here. There is a little bit of lag time, but nope, there I am. So that is what what is happening in Zoom. So I'm coming back to Zoom here because I want to open the video so that you can see that this is going to be showing in Zoom. So let's get rid of this Fathom thing here. I trouble with this uh, panel here so you don't need it. So you can see me there, I'm pointing, I'm live Zoom, and then there's a little latency, like you can see there <laughs> a few, maybe 10, 15 seconds before what I'm doing in Zoom shows up in Facebook. Not that it really matters, but just so you know if you're tracking. Um, and I do always recommend having something open. So you're gonna work from Zoom. You Everything that you do is gonna be like you normally do in Zoom. So you share your screen, you do all the other things that you normally do. Um, this looks funky to you because I'm changing things around, but. I just want you to know that you want to have your Facebook group open on another device. You can kind of see how the stream is going. You're not going to be doing anything in this producer studio other than you just might want to check that's where things are happening. That's probably where the chat would happen. But um, I just like to double check in the actual Facebook group that the stream is coming through. And once I know it is, I keep that on my phone and then I just go back to Zoom and I just run it all through Zoom. So I'm, I'm and, and make sure that you have your, if you have this Facebook group open on another device, make sure the sound is off. Be, otherwise you'll get double sound. So if you hear double sounds, you need, you need to mute what's coming through. 
So if we take a look a little bit more closely at this um, event, what you're going to see here is we are actually streaming in the top of the event. So it's coming through right at the top, which is kind of cool, right? So we're right at the top of the event. And what's also interesting is if we scroll down, we're like in a post in the in the same event. So I don't know how all that works or for other people. Like I don't know what other members of my group are seeing, but that's kind of fun. So they can click on the event and see the event in the top panel or the video streaming in the top panel, or they can scroll down in their feed and they'll see it there. So I'm going to um, get ready to end the broadcast here. I just wanted you to see where we are kind of just adjusting this. You can see the difference between what's happening in zoom and what's happening, um, in the Facebook group. So I did put a comment, look, we're live. So that shows up there and that is Facebook. That's just Facebook. So I'm <laughs> getting ready to end the zoom here. And I thought maybe it would cause zoom to give me those little bubbles or the little uh, celebration. I don't know why sometimes zoom does that. Sometimes it doesn't, but I thought I'd give it a try. All right. So we're out of zoom and uh, it had started a recording. That's why that little recording thing came up, but I had stopped it. All right. So the video is ended. We ended it in Zoom and you can see it's ended. It automatically ends in Facebook also. I always like to come back and just make sure in the studio that um, it ended. And you do have some other choices that you have in here. I think you can trim the video a little bit. So if I didn't want all that, you know, thumbs up stuff at the end, I could trim that off. And then in the event, in the event recording, it would also trim it off there. It's not a fancy editor here. We're, all we're doing is trimming things off, which can be nice because if you are welcoming people the first few minutes or something, nobody wants to sit around for that in a recording. So you can trim the front end and the back end. Very minimal options. And then it can take uh, quite a bit of time depending on how much trimming you did, but it does say it can take several minutes. I just did a few seconds off the back, so it won't take too long here. And if you made a mistake, you can untrim the video, but um, here are some of the other options here. Let's just take a look. We can go to our dashboard and here you can see view post, trim your video, create a clip, or you can delete it. Let's go ahead and view the post. And that's where the video is. So that is the full size post. It shows everything that we did, it shows the chat, the comments. So there you are. You. You now know how to stream, live stream into an event. So you can create the event and stream right in there. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments or the chats if you set yours up this way and how it has worked for you. So thanks, guys.